I'm a TikToker, and I'm wondering what your opinion is on the platform. And yeah, I won't hold that against you, so. <laughs> well, well, my question for that is, why do conservatives blame like stuff like TikTok instead of trying to utilize these things? Yeah. And I mean, look, that's over? a fair question. I think TikTok's mostly garbage, but I'll, I will. Um, look, I mean, it, it is a garbage platform. It just is. It, it is designed by neuroscientists to make you dumb and easy to control. It's Every single study shows that, that the whole model is to try to be hyper-addictive in a short video format. Does that mean conservatives should engage on it? Of course. It's the biggest app for anyone under 25. I'll tell you this right now. If you want any form of success in your life other than being a TikToker, get off TikTok. Um, it's just you're not, you're not going to flourish by being on that application. The redeemable value of TikTok is negative. I'm not trying to offend you. I'm just being very honest, right? But I, I want more people like you that are not woke on there, hopefully enlightening people and pushing back against it. But it's a Chinese military operation. It's owned by the Chinese Communist Party to make American teenagers and American 20-year-olds super dumb. They don't, to they don't let their young people on it. They actually yes. have. I'm not. They ban TikTok for their young people. Yeah, I'm not saying that this is good necessarily, but they actually have time limits, and they only allow their young people to look at like science oh, videos. Oh, I think that's really good. So no, I yeah. mean, like, I, I was like, just so you know, I've, I haven't, lo I've lobbied for like two things in my life. I was lobbying Trump so hard to ban TikTok in America. Like, I was like, you got to sign the executive order, get out of these kids' phones. Depression will go down, everything will go up, um, and I, I failed. I don't. Th I I agree with that. I agree with that. What I was saying is, I don't think the government should be necessarily setting time limits on your phone for how long you can be doing something as a general principle. But I do agree, TikTok is terrible. And just girls, let me say, I don't know if you know this, but I heard this person who used to work at Instagram talking about this on a podcast. And the reason why TikTok is so addictive, especially for girls, is because you know how on Instagram you can do a filter, makes your nose a little smaller, makes your eyes a little more cat eye, but you can actually see, okay, this person is using a filter, I'm using a filter. Well, TikTok has a natural filter that does all of that without telling you. So the reason why you love how you look on TikTok is not because you suddenly look better than you do in the mirror. It's because it's a distortion of your image, which, wow, that is so demonic. So just consider that. Yeah, and so, look, I, I'm just, I hate social media as it is. I have none of the apps on my phone. I'm super blessed to be able to have a team that, you know, publishes all of our stuff for me. I think, t I think TikTok, Twitter, which I'm not on anymore. It's awesome. Uh, Instagram and YouTube destroy souls. Uh, we got along really well as human beings before these ridiculous applications. I say this is a total hypocrite, by the way. I have like 7 million followers on all these platforms. But is it a hypocrite or am I a subject matter expert to tell you how awful these are? So I want you to think about that. Right? So I benefit from it. We have a following because of it. And I'm here to tell you your life will not improve the more time you spend on these apps. And people say, oh, Charlie, I got it under control. I'm like, okay. If you, uh, people email me. I say, prove it. Screenshot your screen time for the last week and send it. They never do. Of course not. It's like they don't want the I'm kind of convicted by this conversation right now. Yeah, well, and I'll say one other. I mean, I'm going to challenge you guys on one thing. And, uh, I don't, I, Ali, I don't know if you know this. Last July, um, you know, I was traveled all across the country last year. I was getting really stressed and just worn down, typical stuff that happens on the road. And a pastor friend of mine said, Charlie, you got to take a Sabbath. And I was like, oh, we're not bound by that commandment, whatever. And he really convicted me. So every Friday night, I take a Jewish Sabbath, turn off my phone Friday night to Saturday night. The world cannot reach me, and I get nothing from the world. It will bless you infinitely. Now, I'm not saying you're bound by the laws of Christian. I'm not saying that that's something you have to do. I'm saying it will make your life better. It was important enough that God put it as one of the Ten Commandments. And I will say... There is debate in some theological circles that we are bound to it because it predated the law. God rested after creation. So I want you to think about that. So Friday night to Saturday night, no one can reach me. And I wake up, you know, I, I wake up on Saturday night, I open up my phone, 600 text messages, 900, whatever. But it is the best 24 to 25 hours. And if every young person took a legitimate Sabbath from Friday night to Saturday night, I guarantee you anxiety would go down. Depression would go down. You'd actually spend time with people you care about. Meaningful conversations would happen. So I challenge you, if, if you incorporate that in your life, th there's no negative. There is, the only negative would possibly be if you had to contact someone in, in an emergency. If it's an emergency, then fine. Open up your phone. That's a separate conversation. Emergencies don't happen every week. And if they do, you've got other problems, right? So um, take the Sabbath. Take it seriously. And I think you should take a permanent Sabbath from TikTok. But you and I could talk about that at a different time. But I do want to say, the fact you're creating on it, good for you. I mean that. As a conservative, we need creators on it. You asked me a moral question about TikTok, which I think is from the pit of hell. So, thank you.